so nervous, you guys. Um, I'm Yvonne Jones. I'm a proud Scorpio, sort of looking, um, and I am building a tiny house. Um, my story starts the way all great epics start, with um, the worst menstrual cycle ever. I know that's TMI. Um, totally TMI, totally true. Um, it was last summer, and my period was bananas. Um, <laughs> And my period is the stoner of periods. It's kind of Jeff Spicoli, and this was like mega death. And I called my doctor and I said, I think I'm dying. And he said, great, why don't you come in in six weeks and we'll check it out. Um, so I was in pain, but I was also really hungry and I went to buy some soup. And on the way back from getting my soup, I'm standing on a street corner and um, feels like someone put a blowtorch on my spine. And I look down and my left leg is doubling in size, kind of like bump, 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 bump. And it's pressing up against my jeans. And true story, I looked at it and I said, oh my God, I'm turning into the Incredible Hulk. And comic book geek and proud. And um, then I passed out. And um, when you hit the sidewalk, you wake up really quickly from passing out. And I lo woke up and a woman was walking by and she kind of went, hi, and kept walking. And um, I thought, if I don't die, I really got to get on that tiny house. And spoiler alert, I didn't die. Um, and in the hospital, the surgeon said to me, what the fuck was in that soup? Um, so it's been a busy year. Um, I just got my eight pound tumor that caused all the crazy uh, taken out this uh, summer. So I had my tumor baby. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and I also bought my tiny house plans. I took a tiny house building workshop. Um, I took driving lessons, finally. I'm only 44. And um, if you want to make a driving instructor cry, um, ask him to tell you the difference between the gas and the brake. <laughs> um, I also, what did I do? I, um, I called the city. I called City Hall because I wanted the uh, skinny on zoning and parking and where am I going to build this and put this. And you guys, they were so happy to get a question they hadn't heard before. Um, and they just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to set myself on fire or that I wasn't building a tiny meth lab. So it was <laughs> super cool. I totally recommend calling them. Um, and then... During that year, I answered a lot of questions from friends and strangers and acquaintances who wanted to know what the hell I was doing. So I talked a little bit about the tiny house, and the question I got most often was, um, why would you do something so ridiculous and stupid? Um, which I hadn't expected. Um, I kind of thought like everybody would be really down with my creative approach to you know, affordable housing. Not so much. Um, a lot of people called me jokingly, um, like the Unabomber. Um, or a hipster elitist, and I was like, I wish I could afford it. I wish I could afford to be a hipster elitist. Um, a lot of people said, you know, do you want to live in a van down by the river? And I was like, I love that skit too. No. Um, a lot of people had questions about parking and poop and sex and dating. And parking, I don't know, it's on wheels. I can put it anywhere. I got a lot of options. Um, poop, composting toilet and then the conversation would die, because they go, oh, okay. Um, and a lot of people said, you know, if you build your tiny house, a man's gonna think that you don't need or want him. And I thought, wow, this future husband you picked out for me is kind of a dick. Um, I don't wanna marry that guy. Um, and then a lot of people were worried about my sex life. Um, if, you, if I was at a party, and the whole table was like, well, you know, if you can only fit four or five people inside your house at one time, what's that gonna do to your sex life? And I was like, how many people do you think I'm having sex with at one time? You know, I really am not a big fan of group sex. I think like none of us is as good at multitasking as we think we are. Um, so on the sad side, I kind of lost a couple friends um, in a weird way because of the whole tiny house process. Um, it's, I don't know, when you kind of uh, veer off the path, um, a lot of people don't love that. I had a very mean girls kind of dinner with uh, some friends where they were just like, you and your fucking tiny house. <laughs> and I said, 
do you tell? Um, you know, and basically the deal was if you're going to your shitty job and you're coming home to Netflix and takeout and then in the morning you're like crying in the shower with a glass of wine to go back to your shitty job, <laughs> you don't really, really want to hear about your friend and her giant tumor and how she's turning her life around and building this tiny house and working from home. And, you know, one friend said, you're going to be that annoying person on Twitter who like their like location is Philadelphia and Istanbul. And I was like, that sounds great. I would totally want to be that person. Um, so on the plus side, a lot of friends have been really awesome. Some of my awesome friends are here tonight. Um, and some new friends, apparently. Um, and, you know, people have offered to let me stay in their house if I wanted to. Um, people, you know, not in their house, but on their property. Um, friends who obviously don't live in Philadelphia. People have um, volunteered to pay for my windows, my solar panels. I once worked for the cheapest man in the world who's also incredibly wealthy. I ran into him on the street, he gave me $400. Um, some friends are also helping me build it when I'm ready. Um, so right now it's all about money. Um, I'm raising the money the slow and painful way. Um, you know, working really hard, working myself to death and saving. And um, the only thing I haven't done is tell my family. Um, my mom knows I'm interested in tiny houses because she follows me on Pinterest. But uh, she is totally welcome to come to the homecoming next fall, and so are all of you. Thanks.